guys, it's Urban here, and welcome back to Four Ships. And this time, it's not my replay, because this is Troublemaker Croatia in the Bismarck. The Bismarck here is one of the most legendary ships of World War II, <laughs> known for taking on the Almighty Hood also, and also destroying it, and also being a part of the biggest naval chase of the Royal Navy history. Of course, Bismarck got destroyed at the end, being chased by HMS Rodney. HMS... I don't know what was the other battleship name, but I do know that it was the King George V class, and by two other cruises uh, later on being sunk. However, people are going to be still asking themselves, was it scuttled or not? <laughs> Even when we go to heaven, people are going to be asking themselves, was it scuttled or not? And that is, well, not really sure about it. But yeah, the Bismarck here in this game is very good actually. It has very good armor, very good speed for a battleship that goes 30 knots. Which is what he's doing now. Also has a decent amount of health of 69,200. And also very good guns. They're not very accurate, but they're still very punchy when they hit. The guns are 380mm cannons. And um, yeah. Same ones as on they are as they are on the Gneiser now, but the Gneiser now ones are Well, the, it only has Six of them, and they're probably more inaccurate. <laughs> so, yeah. The Bismarck also comes with a fighter and a hydroacoustic search. For those of you who don't know what hydroacoustic search is, as he runs, <laughs> as he crashes into probably a Belfast, what it looks like. Hydroacoustic search is basically it, it detects torpedoes before it's too late. So yeah. Anyways, he puts his first shots off into that enemy Bismarck. However, nothing connects. Second shot is going to be against a battleship, not against that cruiser, because every time he aims at something, it gets unspotted like that. But just before he gets behind cover, he does get a shot off into that war spite. And oh boy, we love the banging of those 380mm cannons. <laughs> it's just glorious. And 5000 damage, okay, it's decent. Nothing spectacular, but it's decent. Right, let's just speed up the replay here a little bit by two times because there's nothing interesting going to happen here. With the exception of a few torpedoes coming through, but that's pretty much gonna be it. He shoots at that turpest but also misses everything, so nothing interesting there. Right, let's slow down back to normal speed. And there's the world spot again. That poor guy. <laughs> Being the focus of the fire every single time. But War Spy is a tough ship. But it's not, not, not that tough. He did do over 7,500 damage to that War Spy. So now he's at 12,000 damage. And that's an enemy mass. German tier 7 destroyer. And what he does is he activates his. Ah, oh, the banging. Oh my god. <laughs> He activates his fighter and his hydrogoosic surge just in case that guy launches any torpedoes, but he doesn't do that, so hey, okay, whatever. And he also has very, very, very good secondary armament. Very good secondary armament. They have a range of pretty much 10 kilometers. So getting close call to expert in a German battleship is not that hard. And that sound that you can hear in the background is the sound of a hydroacoustic search. Don't be too scared, it's nothing it's from a scary movie, but whatever. 
Just listening to the Hydro Boot search. Next, he shoots at that enemy Miyoko. Does he hit him? Well... Yeah, one over penetration. <laughs> it's just so obvious, isn't it? Why is the over penetration always occur on ships that have massive citadels? <laughs> eh, whatever. Next ship. Well, is that unfortunate? Bell, um, not Belfast. <laughs> War spot again. Oh well. But he doesn't do any significant damage to him, so I just leave that. Now oh, there's four ships over there in the middle. All doing hell, I don't know. Maybe having a. a Bratwurst party, but we uh, do not know about that, so we punch everybody in the face. Now, the reason why we love Japanese cruisers is because of their massive citadels, and there is one of them. <laughs> 11,600 damage to that unfortunate Miyoko. Doing 12,000 damage. Fantastic. Well, 11,600, but I always like to round the numbers up. <laughs> now, Miyoko finally understands that he has to go forward. Although a little bit, a little bit too late, so in, he still manages to hit him for about 5,000 damage. Okay. Torpedoes! Oh my god! Torpedo beat! Fantastic, there we go. <laughs> Everybody likes a torpedo beat. If you don't like it, there's something wrong with you. Anyways, moving on. Still shooting at the Miyoko. One hit, only 1,100 damage. And he, he even got a bounce there. That's something lucky you get in a, <laughs> in a Japanese cruiser. Oh, those were torpedoes, but they're not there anymore, so that's good. Takes a shot into that enemy turret, I believe it was, and some more torpedoes, but those are not close enough to get a torpedo beat, so let's just really ignore those. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Right. Bismarck. So there's a Bismarck and something else is shooting at him. Something is very interesting for him. Torpedoes, and uh, no, they're not close enough to a torpedo beat, sadly, but he does shut down that Bismarck. Fantastic stuff. Moving on to the enemy War Spite. Now, the War Spite is a tough ship, and that is going to be visible soon. He's on angling as well, so yeah. There you go. Thanks. <laughs> Thank God Bismarck has good secondaries. Without them, he probably. He would have struggled a bit more against this War Spite than he actually has. But War Spite waits for him to show a bit more side. And then War Spite readies itself and fires his guns and does more damage to. to but the Bismarck than he does to. Oh my god! No, that's not a torpedo beat. Why? Because it didn't. It wasn't missed. So, yeah. Secondary still firing at us. 50 secondaries hit so far. I mean, look at this. You cannot make this shit up, did you? There, finally, he shuts down the uh, war spite. And now he's up to 100,000 damage. And that is an AFK cruiser. Particularly a Pensacola. And what do we like about Pensacolas? They're built out of citadels. So, whenever he's sitting like that, we all know how that's gonna end, don't we? 
yeah. Two citadels and he's dead. Fantastic stuff. And that is why we love battleships. Because <laughs> without them, we would have probably never been able to have fun in this game. That's what battleships are for. <laughs> oh, battleships. You're so glorious. Put some light firing into that enemy cruiser. And... One over penetration, he actually hit something. Interesting, interesting. Here comes the enemy turpits. Right. Let's see how that's gonna go. Ah, oh, I just like it when it bounces off like that. Only 1600 damage, one bounce and one over penetration. This angle, however, I would have never fired because that's an automatic bounce. However, Bismarck is now turning because he knows he's gonna launch his torpedoes, but he's gonna be keep on turning so that those torpedoes are gonna miss. And he's also slowing down to reduce that chance. He fires at the top, is doing 11,400 damage and torpedo beat. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Wasn't that close enough, was it? <laughs> Oh, Troublemaker, you so lucky. <laughs> hey, what can we do? And I see he knows how to play battleships, because he doesn't put the fire out whenever it starts, but he waits for a second fire, and then he puts it out. Because that's the way you should. One fire is never going to kill you. Two, they can. And he puts one. <laughs> and he citadels at Miyoko. What a fantastic stuff for 15,000 damage. Secondary is also open up on him. <laughs> you just, you, you can just never run away from the secondaries of the Bismarck, can you? I mean, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Here comes the enemy Bismarck. So far, Troublemaker has been battling out against three Bismarck-class battleships, and none of them hasn't been smart as Troublemaker was, so that's one torpedo, but judging that that was a, a Japanese cruiser, there's definitely gonna be more torpedoes in the water. Torpedo beat! Fantastic stuff, right. <laughs> Onwards to the Bismarck. He does expose a bit of too much of a side, but whatever, you know. He wants to go towards the Bismarck, not away from him to maximize his chance of hitting it. Fires with the forward guns and there's 1,900 damage. Secondaries are still opening up. Secondaries on the Bismarck just never shut up, do they? And goodbye Bismarck. There we go. Fantastic. And that is the end of the Bismarck. Trollmaker has already done 207,800 damage. What great stuff. Now, how he's being spotted, I have no idea. Probably by the enemy destroyer. What is the spotting range of this thing? 15.9 kilometers, it's not that great. But it's not bad as well, I mean, it's not like Buso, <laughs> but yeah. But then again, Fuso does have a mountain on top of its cell, so that is understandable. More torpedoes coming. Really weird. And that is the enemy Leander. This is a tier 6 cruiser. British cruiser in particular, they cannot fire high explosive, the British cruisers, and that's good. that's a good thing. They call them torpedoes, and I'm not gonna put a torpedo beat because that's a bit too far away. <laughs> Right, Leander, hmm. well, some of them went over it, over the hill, but none of them hit him, so that's not good. However, secondaries are always there, aren't they? <laughs> Look at that, I mean, just, wow. Now he turns on the Hydroacoustic Surge because he knows that there's still the story alive and 
he's still being spotted. I mean, if it, he wouldn't be there, he wouldn't have been spotted. But he gets close to his expert, and the Kraken unleashed. And that is well. <laughs> where were we for him? Five kills and two hundred nine thousand damage. Here come more torpedoes, right? Okay. He slows down. And I think that is worth for a torpedo bead. Great stuff. Anyways. That enemy destroyer is in that smoke screen. But he's not gonna be in there all the time for some reason. I don't know why. And one thing that I was surprised is that Bismar doesn't get any torpedoes compared to Dr. Turpitz. Not sure if historically that was, but... Yeah. You just gotta love this little hydro acoustic surge, I mean, wow. <laughs> Here come more torpedoes. And that is very good for our torpedo beat. Very nice dodge there. Troublemaker. And that is pretty much going to be it, really. Um, that guy is not gonna do anything much, but that's it for this replay. He... So what did he manage to do? He managed to do 209,000 damage. He managed to get a close quarters expert, a confederate. Devastating strike for destroying that unfortunate, but then again, he was AFK. So-called... Um, what was it? Uh, yeah, it was the Pensacola, right. <laughs> he also got a Dreadnought, something that you don't get usually. And the High Caliber. For, well, pretty much destroying, for doing... I'm not sure how you get a cal High Caliber, but... Yeah. Yeah, let's just stop the replay here, because it's gonna be 1000 points soon, that's it. So, well done to Devastate the Crow in the Bismarck. Well, thank you very much for uploading this on World of Warships replays. That was a very very good educational <laughs> play of how to play battleships, doing torpedo beats and um, how to play the Bismarck in general. Thank you. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time.